Greeting to you, my brothers and sisters. Welcome to the English service. I hope you and your whole family are doing well. With this world pandemic, sometimes it could be scary. Sometimes you don't have to be that afraid, that fearful, because the Holy God is with us. I would like to bring a message to you called a message of peace. How many of you need a peace from God? We want to live a peaceful life. People that live on this earth, they dream to live a life that no recessions, no sickness, no pandemics, no offense, no bad luck, no famine, no loss in business, no broken relationship, no family argument, no wars and conflicts, on and on. As long as we live, we can't have that kind of, we, 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 we can't stop that kind of stuff. That kind of stuff is on this earth, happen. But, you know, if we are to, it's impossible to experience peace in this life. If we are, if you and I are expecting a perfect perfection, perfection of peace. In the book of Isaiah, chapter 9, verse 6, For us, a child is born. For to us, a child is born. To us, a son is given. And the government will be on his shoulders. And he will be called Wonderful Counselor. Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. Peace comes in the form of a child. Can you imagine? If you want to be peaceful, you want someone to protect you, to fight for you, you want an adult, you want a strong warrior, you want a strong man, the come that have all weapons, no peace come in the form of a child. And after a child growing up, come in the form of a son. And later on, call a wonderful counselor. A mighty God, everlasting father, and the prince of peace. This is the name of our God. We call them, the Bible call them, Isaiah call them, the prince of peace. The Israelites was wanting and were waiting to receive this Prince of Peace. Not just during that time, until now, we still need this Prince of Peace. So it comes from in a, in a form of a child, a son, a wonderful counselor, mighty God, everlasting father. He's a father and a Prince of Peace. This Prince of Peace it's dwelling among us. I have two points today. Point number one, God gives us peace. Jesus give us peace. I'm going to read to us from the book of John. Chapter 14, verse 27 and 28. I'm going to read from New American Standard Bible. Peace I leave with you. Jesus said, peace. He leave peace with us, with me, with you, in the world. He said, my peace, peace he leave with us. It's not but he has nobody else's peace. It's his peace. My peace I give to you. This is a promise, my brothers and sisters. The promise from the Lord. He said, I give my peace to you. Not as the world gives do I give to you? 
this peace that I give to you, there's nothing in this world can compare to it. Do not let your heart be troubled, nor let it be fearful. Don't be too afraid. Don't be too troubled, because this peace is given to you. You heard that I say to you, you hear this? You heard that? I go away and I will come to you. I leave you, but not just leave you alone, but I come back to you. Jesus, he cares for us. Come to you. If you loved me, you would have rejoiced. My brother and sister, Jesus said, if you love me, you would rejoice, even though in the midst of this pandemic. Because I go to the Father, for the Father is greater than I. Jesus said, peace he gave to us. The peace in this world cannot compare to the peace. But Jesus said, he go to the Father, and the Father is greater than he is greater than him. It means that the, also the Father gave us peace as well. And the peace that the Father gave is greater. This is wonderful. This is good news, my brothers and sisters. I'm going to read, read another scripture from the book of Psalm, chapter 18, verse 30 to 31. I'm going to read from New, uh, New in, um, International Version. Verse 30, ask for God. Ask for God. His way is perfect. Ask for God. His way is perfect. Oh, pastor, how come this thing happened to us? This thing happened to us. Why is it like this? Why is it like that? But we trust. You trust. I trust. Trust in the perfect way of God. The Lord's word is flawless. For his word is flawless. He shields all who take refuge in him. He shields all. He protects all. He covers all who take refuge in God. Whoever can trust in God, he shield, protect over them all. For who is God beside the Lord? And who is the rock except our God? Who is the Lord beside the Lord God? Who is the rock except God? This rock you could lean on, lean upon because the Lord is the rock that could protect you, my brothers and sisters. And sisters. In the book of Psalms as well, chapter 23. Verse 4, King David said, Even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, even though he said he walked through the shadow of death, sometimes the shadow of death comes from our mistakes that we made. Some other time, the shadow of the death comes from other people, others' mistakes could cause that as well. And he continued to say, I will fear no evil. He saw death in front of him. He said, I'm not afraid. You know, you know why you're not afraid? Because God, for another, um, for you are with me. The reason that he said he's not afraid, because he knows for sure that God is with him. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. I'm not afraid of death, because you are with me, God. My brothers and sisters, let me tell you, death is real. Pandemic is real. But King David said, he said, even though he walked through the shadow of death, he will not afraid. Because he knows that God is with him. 
He know that God is with him and coaching him and leading him and protecting him. For those who believe in the Lord Jesus Christ, we should have the same belief of David's belief as well. David is a country boy, but David learned to do many great things through having relationship with God. David learned to be a great warrior through having great relationship with God, through trusting in God. This is, was his experience of having great relationship with God. Point number two. Point number one, God gives us peace. Point number two, you and I are agents to bring the message of peace to others. A message of peace, a message of hope to others. God wants us, me and you, to bring the message of peace and hope to the people around us. For those who have no idea about God, they don't know God, they have no relationship with God, they live in fear. They don't know what to do. When pandemic comes, when disease comes, when the droughts come, when the broken relationship comes, they don't know what to do. But God expecting you and I that have relationship with him, show the world that there is a God that who cares for them as well. God want them, want everyone to experience his peace as well. Paul, he read the book to Ephesus in Ephesians chapter 6, verse 14 to 15. Paul said, stand therefore, stand Meaning like you stand firm, stand strong, get ready. Stand therefore, having fastened on the belt of truth. Stand strong. The belt of truth. Live in the truth. The truth, the word of God is the truth. And having put on the bracelet of the righteousness. And as shoes... For your feet, shoes for your feet, having put on the readiness given by the gospel of peace. Paul said, get ready to bring this gospel of peace to people around you. You, my brothers and sisters, you can experience the Lord's peace. Just go to God. No matter what happened, go to God, and God will help you. It's a peace, not from the outside. Peace start within. Peace start from the inside first, not start from the outside. If peace start from the outside, this peace come and this peace go. It doesn't last for a long time, but the real true peace from God start in there. You start to feel confidence. You start to feel like, my God is with me. These things happen is real. Pandemic is real. Disease is real. Virus is real. People die is real. But I'm going to trust in the Lord my God. God will protect me. God will provide income for me. Even though there's no people doing businesses not much during the pandemic. God can help you. God can help me. God can help people all over the world. Get ready. Bring the gospel of peace to others. Luke chapter 10, verse 5 to 7. When Jesus sent his disciple out, when you enter a house, Jesus said, first say, when you go to someone's home, when you meet somebody, first say, peace to this house. When you first meet your friend, when you first meet your relative, when you first meet this person and that person, classmate or whatever, your business partners, 
you say to them, peace be with you. This is the purpose of God. This is the heart of God. God wants us to bless others around us. So He sent them out because the purpose of sharing His peace. Peace to this house. If someone who promotes peace is there, your peace will rest on them. Your peace, the peace received from God, I received peace from God, and I shared this peace from God. And the disciple received this peace from God, and he, they go out and share this peace to the world. And that peace will stay with them if they accept. If not, it will return to you. Verse 7, Jesus, stay, uh, Jesus said, stay there. Eating and drinking water they give you. You eat, you drink, drink water they give you. For the workers deserve his wage. Do not move around from house to house. Jesus want his peace to establish in people's home. Expect the peace from God in your heart in your home, in your business. You know, this life is hard. I get that. You all experience that. If you are to expect 100% peaceful in this life, you can't. I can't. Think a little bit about a baby. A baby, you will see this um, picture in, on the screen. The baby... When they poo-poo or pee-pee, they cry. They're baby. They don't know what to say. They cry. When they're hungry, they cry. When they're hot, they cry. When they wet their diaper, they cry. When they want their mommy, when they, they cry. Baby cries. But when the baby growing up, getting older, they don't cry as much anymore. Sometimes they learn not to cry even though they are facing obstacle. Bad thing happen in front of them. But if older people, if mature people, when they face issues, they always cry, they always complain, it's not good. As Christians, my brothers and sisters, when you face these obstacles, when you face this issue, when you face this pandemic, we might, you know, accidentally complain. We might cry and stuff like that. But don't stuck there. Don't stuck there. Grow in your faith. Allow God to penetrate. Allow God to grow your faith in you. And then you can trust in Him. Then be like a baby. Don't cry like a baby. Don't be like a baby Christian. I believe you can grow. And look at another picture. This is a picture of roller coaster. When you see the roller coaster, they go up and down all around, twisted around and all that. It's, it's a scary sometimes. But I tell you what. The people... Go to play, you know, sit in a roller coaster. They have so much fun. In this life, we have so much fun. It's not born. Sometimes we are healed, we are healthy, we are in peace. Sometimes we are not. When we are not, we are not afraid. We believe that one day, maybe the next couple of days, we, be, we will be healed again. Maybe today you don't have money to buy food to eat. Maybe the next day you will have it. This life is go up, up and down, up and down, up and down. This up and down, up and down thing, it's not mean to destroy you and I. But it means to help us to grow to be better. Better Christian. Better follower of the Lord Jesus Christ. In the book of Romans, chapter 8, verse 28, I'm going to read from ESV. 
And we know that for those who love God, for those who love God, for those who know God, for those who have relationship with God, with God, all things work together for good. For those who are called according to his purpose. This life is fun. Let me tell you that. It's fun. You can't stuck in one place and be in peaceful. No, cannot. And you treat toward this issue that happened to you. And when you allow the peace of God to dwell in your heart. And then one day you come out of it. And you have a lot of good experiences. And you get to teach others. You tell others how great God is. And you will grow to the next level. So this peace is belong to you. But you need to go through all of this issue so that you will grow to be better in life. Let me pray for you. Heavenly Father, Lord God, you are our Father. You are Prince of Peace. Lord God, Father, always protecting children, Lord God. Lord God, you be because you are the good, good Father, Lord God. Lord God, I lift our church members. I lift these believers, the body of believers in Phnom Penh, the body of believers in Cambodia, and the body of believers all around the world into your hand, God. Lord God, I invite your presence and your peace to dwell in everyone's heart. Let every one of them experience your peace, peaceful in the midst of this world pandemic, Lord God. And Lord God, I ask that you heal all the people that God, either virus, COVID-19 or whatever virus is, heal them completely, Lord God. And protect those who don't contage with diseases yet, Lord God. And Lord God, have everyone to see how great you are. To see your ability that you can do great things because you are the Lord our God. Lord God, protect these people and provide whatever, whatever they need in life. In Jesus' mighty name. I receive it. Amen. 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 Thank you. And God bless you.